Hello guys, and I have to confess, I love learning more about Russian geography based on the maps of the explosions on their military objects. And today is the day for that and the day for an urgent update that I so much love. Because there is a huge explosion and fire in Chelyabinsk on their tank factory. What is also important, it is located 1,700 kilometers away from Ukrainian borders, really deep inside Russia. And we warned you, don't you talk at Ukrainian energy infrastructure. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight informational war. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So, just recently we've learned about a number of explosions, air raid alerts and limitations on the territory of Russia. I am once again proud that Ukrainian armed forces and Ukrainian partisans always target their military objects, nothing else, because we are not orcs. And here are some facts about what is going on. Well, first of all, we hear that air raid and flight limits are in Moscow region, so all of their civil airports are not working, which definitely causes lots of panic. In the morning, we've heard about explosions and air defense working in Tula, which is a bit far away, but right now the update came from Chelyabinsk, and Chelyabinsk is a city also known as Tankograd. Translating it from Russian, it means tank city, which means that most of Russian tanks, starting from the period of the Second World War and up to now, are produced in Chelyabinsk. I have googled a bit to learn more about this city because all I knew from Russian films that I watched in my childhood, sorry, Russia occupied our informational space for decades, was that it is a very depressive city. So I've learned it is the seventh largest city in Russia, the tenth most criminal, and it is extremely dirty because they have 150 different plants and factories in there. So people are forbidden to drink water, forbidden to swim. And there are lots of jokes, really bad jokes about this brutal people from Chelyabinsk. And there they have a tractor factory, which is actually a tank factory where they produce lots of tanks and also where they mend and restore these uh, uh, tanks. And now they won't have this opportunity. And the video of explosion is huge. It's a huge like mushroom-like fire because uh, even if uh, something minor explodes on such factory, taking into account what kind of materials, fuels they have there, we can only imagine the size of the destruction. But it is an evil military target where Russians produce tanks that they use to destroy Ukrainian territory, to invade our cities and our lives. So I'm super happy to read this update, especially in the heart of this tank city, the producer of steel um, and other military things. Also, I've learned that on the 29th of October, some partisans updated Ukrainians. There is also a new missile factory being developed in Chelyabinsk and they um, watch how it grows, they bring in the information that we might need in future. But I think it's important for Russians to feel that Chelyabinsk, my dear, is vulnerable. Vulnerable being 1,700 kilometers away from the Ukrainian border. So we do know how to do our job protecting our motherland and destroying Russian military industry. Uh, perhaps soon we'll learn more how it all happened and I'm sure Russians will say, and you know that, someone smoked. Remember to subscribe if you are just like me, love learning Russian geography based on the map of explosions on their military objects. And uh, the city of Chelyabinsk is located between like Europe and uh, Siberia, like Asian part, uh, which is actually really, really, really far away from um, us. And uh, what also like um, made me feel not nostalgic, but like anti-nostalgic. And another fact that actually proves uh, how dependent Russians are on old communist heritage 
is the fact that this factory is located on Lenin Prospect. So those of you who think that Russia is different from Soviet Union, that Putin is fighting for something different, no, they are trying to restore this monstrous totalitarian Soviet Union and constantly invite Ukraine, Poland, Baltic countries, Moldova to that hell. And we oppose, and this is how we oppose, I'm proud how Ukrainians oppose, taking into account these explosions all over Russia. So, first of all, we have this Chelyabinsk on fire with a serious explosion on that tank factory. Well, they will say it's a tractor, but you all know that a tractor factory is everywhere at tank factories because of the construction. And actually, uh, one of the top professions that is lacking right now in Ukraine are tractor drivers because all of them are in Ukrainian armed forces. And there is a great tendency to train women to become uh, tractor drivers in the fields. And Tula in the morning with lots of uh, shahets, not no shahets, that's a Ukrainian drones flying, sorry. And uh, also we don't know what is happening around Moscow, but the airfields are not working. And we have warned you, Russians, don't you target Ukrainian energy system. And you did that a day before, targeting us with 74 Shahed drones. So here is the answer. And I'm sure there will be more answers and Russians will be forced to taste their own medicine. War always returns to the uh, motherland, to, the, to its home. And it was a Russian idea to invade Ukraine, to destroy our life, to kill so many of the Ukrainians. But God, good and all adequate people are on our side. And I'm really proud of this achievement. And once again, very important, we target their military objects that they use to produce things to kill us. These are very legitimate targets and uh, I hope soon all of them all over Russia will be on fire and we will learn more facts about depressive Russian cities based on the explosions on their military objects. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Remember we still have a discount for our merch. Uh, join me on Instagram, threads and Twitter and in Discord. All the links that you need are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for being friends of Ukraine and let's watch more. And I hope sometime soon we will speak more and more about close Ukrainian victory. Slava Ukraini!